what's today's date? Today is, I believe, May 14th. Okay, May 15th, May Tuesday. Can you start today's May 15th, meeting? May 15th, Tuesday. Okay. Tell us about what you did yesterday. What's the plan for today? Uh, yesterday, I finished boring the first hole. Or not the first hole. The first... Uh... Lighting. <laughs> oh, okay. I finished boring the first um, pusher for the half moons. Uh -huh. And then I started on the second one. Uh, what I did this time is basically removed a lot of material with mag drilling and a cutoff wheel. Instead of what I did before was milling. I don't know why I didn't remember the techniques I used before on the iron worker. Um, okay, but yeah, so I'm ready to start boring the second one today and I should have that done in a few hours. Okay, sounds good. Um, you and so, how about you today? Yesterday, I mainly worked on setting up the big blue button surfer and done with partial success. We got chat working, we got partial audio working, just with two people and only one person could uh, talk and we could hear. Uh, other than that, worked on sourcing research, for instance, the power supplies, which ones were available, which ones... Uh, this is for the CNC purposes. circuit mill? For the CNC circuit mill, but of course, general benchtop power supplies can be used for other development projects. Mm -hmm. What's the next plan on uh, testing Big Blue Button? Do next, we plan, get? next plan is to have uh, is to confirm remote access, not just within our network, our local network, but also someone from, say, another city. And we'll probably do that with Aaron. Other plan is confirm how we can set up new, uh, how do you say, a new landing landing page, because right now we're just using demo. We have to change the a we have to use the API. I have to get more specifics on that because this is new to me. Can we do the screen capture using that platform or that's going to have to be external? Screen capture can be used, but right now, based on the current state of the server I've set up, it's not functional, so we'll have to fix that up too. So right now, the functions that we need to check is get audio fully working, screen share working, remote access, uh, and that that's about it. Do we have a good hope on a screen capture being fully functional so we don't have to use another application? I think that's going to be pretty important because if there's a lot of these meetings going on, then we want to streamline that process. Yeah, screen capture is definitely functional in Blue Blue Button. Definitely functional. Yes, yes. Meaning the video, audio, and screen, or just parts? Meaning the video, audio, the webcam video, audio, and the screen share video. So basically the entire platform, as one sees on, on their computer, is going to be capturable through automatic video capture? As far as I know, yes. Okay, that sounds There's good. actually the full screen option or the region option where you uh, click and drag an area of your screen. Okay, and a summary for your plan for today? plan for today is to get caught up on the sourcing so that I can actually order today the power supply and the other equipment as I research. Uh, in, the, in addition, I have field forms to finalize. I've done actually most of them this morning, so that's almost done. Mm -hmm. And we did get the refrigerator conversion yes, kit yesterday, so we're going to convert our fridge into <laughs> freezer into fridge. And the lowest setting for the record does freeze everything. Yes. That's why it's called a freezer, by the way. But, okay. Hey, Jose. Hi. Cold. Okay, what did you do yesterday and what do you think about doing today? Well, uh, we finished uh, the tractor, all the uh, hydraulics, uh, the mounting the cylinders, mounting the chains, adjust uh, everything. Hmm. Uh, we have a problem we have because we have a few hydraulic leaks mm -hmm. on the power tube. Yeah, we've got to tighten see. some none fittings. None of them that I did, for the record, see I did all these and none of them were leaking. Uh -huh. Yeah, because she's perfect. As you look at it, <laughs> and um, I mean, I, I also finished another track for this tractor because the yeah. weld is, was no quality enough. For yeah, rewelding these from last year actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for today, mounting this other track, fix it, uh, fixing. Ah, I also been working on the Facebook uh, uh, publicity system and watching some videos to to publish, uh, put it on there. Mm -hmm. to see. And uh, also making some kind of designing on on AutoCAD and SketchUp to learning a little bit to start making things with that. 
Mm -hmm. uh, for today, finished the structure. Yeah, finished tracks, um, welding. And hopefully mm -hmm. making the test of the second one. Yeah, we got to test it. We can probably get it out we running. We want to make a slip and slide. We want to make to a slip and slide um, because it's part of the motivation of the team, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to, some kind of enjoy. And then put the video on the Facebook for mm -hmm. everyone to see how works the chapter and how we work uh, the slip and slide. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's an interesting concept. Okay, from my side, that story. So the two power cubes are on the tractor right now. Just a quick overview of the issue. So when you connect two of them, <laughs> these are coupled. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. So th they're actually coupled with a quick coupler. This, this is the hose that links the top and bottom re reservoir. The point is if you run them in parallel as scalable, they, they need to be connected because of the differential fluid return into the tanks. Now the question is though, if we just have a quick coupler, the quick coupler reduces the flow quite a bit. And it's shown right here. So we're hoping that with that quick coupler, so that's the quick coupler, that the differential rate of fluid flow will still, by this drainage from the top tank to the bottom, will allow the, the fluid never to get pumped so much that it actually leaks out the top of the, the top reservoir. That's a little technicality issue, so I'm going to test that to see how that works. And if not, the worst case is going to happen that we're going to have to go back to the hard wire, meaning no quick coupler between the top and bottom power cube. But we can do a valve, just a ball valve, which would work also. So instead of a quick coupler, we would have a ball valve. But in a case of a ball valve, you actually have to slip that off the off a barb, which is it's going to take you like like three minutes as opposed to disconnect a quick coupler, which is instant. So we're trying to optimize the, the modularity of the power cubes this way, but that's what I'll work on today and then do more recruiting. We're, we're rolling along on recruiting, so good news. We'll get uh, to work here. Thanks.